The Nuggets are not holding anything back in the wardrobe department as they made their entrance tonight, hoping to make an impression on their home floor. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. Nestled among the peaks of the Rocky Mountains, we're in the beautiful city of Denver, Colorado. Greetings, everyone. You've got it live on Tuesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. And here's the upcoming schedule for New Orleans. On Friday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. Then on Sunday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Well, Coach Mike Malone had this to say about his understated superstar, Nikola Jokic. Malone said he's truly beloved by all his teammates. No ego, a little bit goofy, doesn't take himself too seriously. And with his success, he's still the same kid. That's why everybody cares about him and respects him. Kevin? The Nuggets, lucky to have him. Thanks, David. And early in the season, Clark, rotations getting settled. How important do you think it is to have players who really embrace their roles on that team? You know, I think it's a combination of accepting and embracing your roles, really relishing what it is you're to do and to star in what your particular role is. And finding that out oftentimes is a work in progress even throughout the season. And probably managing maybe some disappointment if you aren't in the role you thought you were going to be in. Well said. Exactly right. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Zion at the four with Okafor at the five. Holiday and Ingram out on the perimeter. And it's Ball in at the one. And for the Nuggets, Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Filling out the wings, Harris and Barton. And it's Murray in at the point. Now here's Millsap. Oh, that's blocked. And he recovers it. They shoot again. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first mate. And slam dunk by Ingram. And really an underrated playmaker. Williamson with good court vision and solid decision making. And so the New Orleans Pelicans get the first points of the ball game. Here's Barton. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Boy, the fifth time's the charm. That's a big basket there. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Ball, the pass to Okafor. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. A whole new cast of characters for the Pelicans. Three promising first-round picks, Greg. And the young players acquired from the Lakers and veterans like Favors and Reddick. All of a sudden, a wealth of options for Alvin Gentry. Time will tell how they did in the AD trade, but seems like they're off to a nice start. And that one misses. Well, the Nuggets were a surprise team to many last year, but they looked poised to be good for a long time. I could not agree with you more. They were the youngest team in the Western Conference, guys, in terms of the playoffs, and they've got a solid salary cap situation. Uh, this could be the start of a golden age for the Nuggets, pun intended. So he comes up empty, missing both. And already Okafor has become a dominant big man in the association. Has a good number of post moves to choose from, in addition to a nice jump hook. Now here's Murray. And uh, in the game with the Lakers, he did not play that well. Ball against Barton. And it's sent back by Millsap. Pretty cool to see Millsap turn shots back. I mean, he's a mobile, athletic big man who is taking pride in his defensive work. Barton against Ingram. Barton passes to Murray. The kick out to Barton. Fires for three. 
And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Yeah, Kevin, a ton of tension in that one. The fans were kind of on the edge of their seat right up until the end. And I tell you what, those are the kinds of games you love to be a part of. But, man, do you hate the loser. So it's Denver now trailing by two. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Murray. Tough shot that time by Jokic finishing through contact. Great display of power and strength by Nikola Jokic. Now here's Okafor. And the dunk by Williamson. And this is what we came to see, right? Go ahead, Sion. Do your thing on the alley-oop. Barton outside. Jokic passes to Harris. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That's his first foul. Pass to Okafor. New Orleans moving it around. Rejected by Nilsson. But they get it back. Shot clock at two. From deep. A rugged, determined defender. Seeing Harris's hustle and using his quickness on this end. Man, I like that. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. Jokic, no good. Fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was pulled. Holiday, the pass to Okafor. It's blocked. Can't take the reach and length of Barton Light, the effect of it using it to snuff out shots. Jokic kicks to Milsen. But they'll get another chance. Jokic, no good. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. And it's sent back by Millsap. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Millsap. And the pass to Okafor. Kicks the ball. Back to Okafor, six to shoot. Well, I tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Barton, no luck. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a loss to the Lakers in Los Angeles. Holiday against Murray. And Barton throws it down. You know, an area worthy of further development for Murray is keeping his teammates involved. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. You look at Paul Millsap, one of my favorite players, came into the league after three years of college as an undersized power forward who has shown that he not only can rebound, but has become an all-star scorer, too. And year in and year out, Paul Millsap finds a way, Clark, to get it done. He does, guys. I mean, he's just rock solid. An all-star player multiple times. All he does is help his team win, and he does it in ways beyond just scoring and rebound. He can open up space with his shooting. He's an outstanding passer, and he's also good at the defensive end and picking people's pockets. Free throw, no good. Well, you talk about athletic families. Both of Drew Holiday's parents played Division I college basketball. Two brothers also in the NBA. His sister played at UCLA. Oh, and by the way, his wife is a gold medal winning soccer player. That is tough to beat. Plumley is checked in for Denver. No good on the second free throw. And Drew Holiday, one of the three brothers playing in the NBA at the same time. 
Ray, how often do you see that? Uh, I mean, we had the Plumleys for a while there, but the Holidays, probably the most notable example. Aaron, Drew, and Justin, a, a basketball dynasty in one generation. And it's sent back by Millsap. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion, you'll have periods like this. Pass to Harris. There's the three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Ingram's got four rebounds now tonight. Right side Holiday fires the three. It's hauled in by Harris. Putting up a goose egg bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. And it's blocked. Ball size and timing really an asset when it comes to him blocking shots. Ingram. They get it back. And that one's good, Williamson. Williamson's got six. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Millsap kicks to Murray. Six on the shot clock. Back to Millsap. And Okafor with the block. Got to be cautious when Okafor's in the area. I mean, he's a giant. Not only is he big, but he's long. And that helps him block shots because of his good timing, too. For the Nuggets, Grant, he's checked in for Will Bart, and it's Beasley in for Harris. And then for New Orleans, Derek Favors checked in for Okafor, and J.J. Redick is subbed in for Drew Holiday. And there's Williamson on the assist by Ball. That's now eight points for Zion Bart. Williamson. Good vision that time by Ball. You leave somebody open around him, and he's going to get the ball to him. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. And two teams at vastly different ends of the standings last year. But they played each other to a draw. Yeah, you know, they split the season series, Greg. And you look at it, was it matchups? Perhaps good fortune or, or luck? Tonight we'll increase the sample size by one game to see who comes out on top. Porter's checked in for the Nuggets. Monte Morris comes in for Murray. On the wing, Morris. Porter dishes to Grant. A three from Morris. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Here's Favors. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be a Mason Plum. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. And that one falls for favors. And you look at how the Nuggets have become the team they are. A lot has to do with player development. Exactly. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Denver has done a great job in the draft. Identify talent. Stick to your guns in choosing that talent. Then build it. Develop it. Their front office has been fantastic. So he picks up just one from the line that time. We were asked this the other day, you and I, if you could choose one guard in the league to shoot a clutch three-point shot for you, Clark. Who would be your guy? Ironically, they're both on the same team, Kevin. I would start with Steph Curry. I think he clearly is the guy you want shooting it. And then after that, I would go with Clay Thompson. There are a number of other guys, but Steph is a pretty good gap in front of most. And then I think Clay is just a notch or two below Steph. I agree. Great backcourt. Lillard up in Portland, another one. There's so many great ones in the NBA. But yeah, yeah. Lillard would certainly be um, on the three man list for sure. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. And the ceiling so high for Porter. A versatile, effective forward who does so many things well. And he's good on the second. 
And the medical red flags for Michael Porter Jr. caused him to slide to the Nuggets in the 2018 draft. Two back surgeries in less than a year. An injury suffered initially in his sophomore year of high school. The risk is there, but if his body holds up, potentially a star in the making. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And the Pelicans miss again. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Nuggets. Trailing by two. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. Beasley against Reddick. They get it back. Grant, the shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. And Grant really embraces contact, relishes it, as a matter of fact. He has no fear going to the rim or going into a shot. Now here's Higgins. No points in the game hit for him. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. Morris right side. Here's Plumlee. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And while we have a chance, let's take a look at the best free throw shooters in the league from last season. Number five is J.J. Redick. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. And one area, Clark, that Mason Plumley doesn't get enough credit in is his playmaking. He does a great job at that as a center. I could not agree with you more. He's an outstanding passer, but when you're playing with Jokic, you sometimes get overlooked in terms of how well he passes it. But uh, he does a good job and is really solid off the bench. Plumley moves well, he's active, and he's a rim protector defensively, too. And he can't make the second free throw either, missing both. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50 50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Here is Plumley after J.J. Reddick's bucket. And Plumley kicks to Morris. Here's Moore. Morris with the block. And now the fast break. Grant with the ball. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. And you see Jeremy Grant on this team. He means so much more than just his stats. He's a fantastic blue guy. And his teammates talk about how unselfish he is on the floor. Great team player and an even better chemistry guy off the court. One shot. The free throw drops for Grant. We're seeing more and more young coaches in the NBA think this is a trend. Is it completely circumstantial? What's your view on it? Well, I think you've got more younger coaches that are capable and able to coach. And the league is quite young, too. I think it's a, a current trend. But we've seen that before in decades past when it seems the wave of coaches are, are younger. I think it's more or less kind of the cycle of life that we see across um, a lot of different industries. Here's Alexander Walker after the Nuggets pick up two. Hayes the pass to Reddick. Excellent D there from Beasley. Denver in the lead. Pass to Plumley. He dishes it to Morris. Here's Porter. And the rejection by Favors. 
Moore outside. There's 53 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Favors. Porter with a block. And you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And they call an illegal screen here. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And the wide open shot from Morris. No good with the triple. Pelicans trail by three. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Alexander Walker passes to Reddick. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point range, the shot will not fall. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Denver on top, ending the first quarter on a 12-4 run. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Nikola Jokic, a former second-round pick, turned star in the league, talks about what the game means to him. Basketball, like passion, love. Like, that is the thing I play, like, when I know four, six, seven years old, I don't know. Like, basketball is always in my life. That, like, I think it's passion. I think it's passion. In basketball, Greg, a big deal in Jokic's native land of Serbia. And I love his creativity. There's an artistry and a freedom in how he plays the game. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So on the floor for Denver. Grant down low with Jokic. It's Morris and Beasley at the one and the two. And it's Porter and at the small forward. No good on the free throw. He's off on the second. And, you know, there are so many things to like about Jokic's game, Clark, and his footwork is right near the top. I would agree with that, Kevin. His footwork is exquisite. I mean, it is top shelf. This guy does not get enough credit for his pivoting. But his hands are great. His touch is phenomenal. He loses a lot of defenders when he's back to the basket with that footwork of his. I tell you, I was so impressed when I locked into him with my isolated camera during the playoffs. The Joker is no joke. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And after essentially a redshirt rookie year with the Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr., the 14th pick in the 2018 draft, is back in action. Could be a huge addition. Remember, Porter was projected as a top two pick entering his freshman season at Missouri. If he can stay healthy, you're adding an elite talent to your rotation. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Mark, you were so good at such an early age in your basketball career. At what point did you personally realize 
just how far the game could take you. You know, it really resonated with me, Kevin, I think, um, at a summer basketball camp at Miami of Ohio when some of the better campers, high school campers, were asked to play with the college guys at night. And then during pickup games in my hometown of Cleveland with some of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Jim Jones and the late Terry Furlow and Mike Mitchell, and being able to compete somewhat with those guys at 15 and 16 years of age and having them encourage me to keep going and that I'd have a chance to do what they were doing at the time, which was play pro ball. Here's Reddick following the basket by Jokic. Here's Favors. Moore against Porter. And it's Moore penetrating. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Porter. And not just a long-range gunner, but each one more also blessed Greg, one of the NBA's best floaters. I mean, he takes a lot of those mid-range shots, those floaters in the lane that makes them more often than not. For a player standing 6'4", the ability to finish inside, providing that, that counterbalance to his three-point shooting. He misses the free throw. And the Nuggets making a change here. Millsaps checked in. And the Pelicans making a change here. And the second free throw, good. Denver leading by three. Easily outside. Back to Morris. Mills up at the elbow. Just four to shoot. And Denver again with the bucket. That's what we call weight room there. I mean, Millsap showing how strong he is finishing through contact. Holiday, the pass to Okafor. The dish to Reddick. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Guys, J.J. Redick is much more than just a standstill shooter. I mean, his movement without the ball and his quick trigger release, a very deadly combination. And Clark, as good as he is, playing off the ball, Redick can handle and even create some for his teammates. Yeah, I like the fact that Redick has added that to his package, Kevin, because initially he was just a catch-and-shoot guy. But he's smart, he's tough, and he's actually steady and comfortable with the ball in his hands. And that one misses. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole, and far too often, that's the case for this team. A different look for Denver. Will Barton, he's checked in for Grant. Harris comes in for Malik Beasley. And it's Jamal Murray in for Morris. And New Orleans also making a change. Ingram, he's checked in for each one more. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And perimeter shooting never more valuable. And that's been J.J. Reddick's M.O. all along. An elite marksman who can hit from anywhere. And in today's game, if you don't have four spacing, your offense is going to struggle. They call it gravity. The ability of outside shooters to attract defensive attention. Reddick, one of those you don't leave for a moment. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Williamson is checked in for favors. And Ball subbed in for J.J. Reddick. And how about the transition from Paul Millsap going away from that star role to being more of a role player here in his later years. No longer needed to carry the torch, if you will, in terms of scoring and rebounding. But he can still give you just a bit of everything else at this stage. Shot clock at six. Here's Ingram. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Barton. And it's blocked. 
In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. I mean, his long reach really allows him to come up with a good number of blocks. Now, here is Holiday. He's coming off a 19-point game against Portland. And not just the scoring. It was also how fierce he was on defense, grabbing three steals on the night as well. Now, here's Barton following the shot by Drew Holiday. Barton surveying the floor. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And with Bill Sapp, you can just see him contribute in so many ways. I mean, a great passer for his position and also very unselfish with his offense. Still a plus defender with how often he is giving up size on the inside. Here's Holiday. Gary Harris making his last shot. Pass the ball. Here's Okafor, guarded by Harris. To stop the drought. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It's going to be on Jokic. Love how Ingram toys with the opposition. Just is unflappable, drawing contact easily on these kinds of shot attempts. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Nuggets. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Yeah, another thing they've done well, guys, is getting in the passing lanes. They've been active with their hands, feet have been in good position, and they've come up with a lot of steals. That's making a difference here, too. And he makes the first. And another name included in that Anthony Davis trade, Brandon Ingram. Still a lot to like about his game. Pairs up well with what the Pelicans are trying to do. Perhaps the biggest asset coming over to New Orleans could flourish in this system. Mason Plumley's checked in for Nikola Jokic. That one misses. Well, you know, last season ended early for Brandon Ingram. Thoracic outlet decompression surgery. T-O-D-S. Not something you hear every day, but thankfully a full recovery is expected. And Ingram's thoracic outlet syndrome, the same issue that affected Markel Fultz. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because that injury typically is seen and is more common in baseball players for Ingram, an early diagnosis of blood clots, uh, which could have ended his career, um, led to the discovery. Uh, you know, relatively speaking, the final result and conclusion, a relief. one is off and the expectations for Williamson are sky high a, a superb athlete whose skill set and drive to be great is off the charts so neither attempt will fall that time for and how much fun is it to watch this kid? I call Zion Williamson a kid, even though he goes about 280, and he has a certain composure that really belies his years. Ball kicks to Okafer. Dishes to Holiday. Back to Okafer. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And with Williamson, it's not just the obvious stuff that impresses you, Greg. It's the little things as well, the attention to detail. You know, Kevin, one thing that stands out to me, every time I see this young man, the eye-hand coordination, whether it's on steals, deflections, block shots, he always seems to pick it cleanly. And he can't get the first one. Clark, here's kind of an interesting uh, perspective question for you. How much of making it to the NBA is talent? Uh, how much of it is the work you put into it? Kevin, if I were to give this a ratio, I would probably say 65% talent, 35% work ethic. Wow. Because you have to have a level of unique giftedness to be an NBA player. Many can work really hard and not be NBA caliber. So I think there's uh, 
I, I tilt that 65-35 talent to work it. Now here is Harris. Holiday with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Holiday. open look here for Murray shot is good off the back rim and in Murray's got the lead up to 11 now for Denver and here's ball he'll bring it up for New Orleans and there's the pass to Okafor and then Okafor slams it in cannot afford to let Okafor get near the bucket I mean he is really skilled at finishing those looks and he does so with authority now here's Murray. And it's blocked. And here is Ball. Here's Okafor with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. Okafor's got six. That is really outstanding work by Okafor. He's a real talent in the paint. On the wing, Harris, guarded by Holiday. Taken away by Holiday. Pass the ball. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And now it's only a five point Denver lead. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Ball against Murray. Barton outside. Harris outside. On the clock. Plumley finds Murray. And another miss by Denver. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And slam dunk by Harris. Leaving folks open around Barton is a no no. He'll torch you whenever you do that. Pelicans trail by seven. Ball dishes to Okafor. Passes it to Ingram. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got six rebounds in the game. It's blocked, and it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. Outside. Five to shoot. Pass to Millsap. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. Players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. And some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. The first free throw is good. And maybe the most popular player to enter the league since social media became truly pervasive. Zion Williamson handles it with class. He really appreciates his teammates and his coaches and really respects the game. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And talking to stars in this league, even they want to see what Williamson's going to do next. Sure. We talk about the leaping ability at his size, the handles, the shot making. But what really stands out when you watch him live, the instincts. Being at the right place at the right time and always seeming to make the right play. Now the pass to Barton from the arc. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. 
Murray's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Now here is Holiday. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Ingram outside to the middle. Here's Williamson. That's good. He's five for nine. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here is Harris. Nine points in the game so far. That shot off the mark. Holiday with the defensive effort. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Pass to Okafor. Over Plumley, And it's sent back by Plumley. Harris inside the line. And too long on the shot. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Outside Holiday. Passes to Williamson. Shot from the wing. Some solid defense from Harris. The Nuggets leading by 10. Here's Barton. And Barton throws it down. Barton is at his very best when he's attacking the basket. He's a most effective slasher. For New Orleans, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Big group substitution here for Denver. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Millsap. Porter comes in for Will Barton. Beasley's checked in for Gary Harris. And Morris subbed in for Murray. And Grant sends it back. And here we go with Morris running it up the court. Good on the triple. Morris has got his second basket of the night. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Alexander Walker passes to Reddick. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Favors. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Back to Porter. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. The Nuggets now in offense. They're on a 15-5 run here. Porter, no luck. Pelicans trail by 15. And Reddick kicks to Moore. The rebound by Grant. Denver's gone 3 of 5 beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Plumley, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Two shots. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And he can't hit the second. Pelicans trail by 15. Here's Favors, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. All oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. 
three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And that one falls for favors. So he gets them both. 32 seconds left to play here in the half. Now Morris, he's got five. Oh, that's blocked. Here's more. And Grant sends it back. Morris looking over the floor, takes the three. And so it's Denver, 13 points up at the end of the period. They kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels, and it's gotten them up big. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Alvin Gentry. Coach, they had control in the first half. How were they able to do that? Well, we turned the ball over, and our transition defense wasn't very good. Uh, we got to do a better job of executing, and we got to do a better job of just taking the shots that are available to us. One thing at a time gets you back in. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boy, a lot of energy in this arena tonight. The, the hometown fans getting after it. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaquille O'Neal's here. So is Kenny the Jet Smith. A pretty close game for the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. At the end of the period, they held a three-point lead. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. Shaq, let's get your take on Denver. The speed they're playing with has been fantastic. They're pushing the ball in transition and catching the defense. That's snapping, Ernie. Anyway, a huge chunk of their offense has come on the break. They've got a nice lead, but they shouldn't slow anything down. I say keep doing what you do. And uh, Kenny, what you see from New Orleans? Well, they're trailing in this game because they're shooting under 35 percent. Now, I've got to give a lot of credit to the defense, forcing the shooters off their spots and making them feel uncomfortable. But if someone takes something away from you, you have to be able to adapt. So they need a whole new game plan because right now they're in trouble. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Zion Williamson, guys. In this game, he has been everywhere. And he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. And you know what, guys? I think it starts with having a body on him every time a shot goes up. I mean, they've got to do a better job boxing out. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. So the Pelican five right now. Wall and Holiday combine at the guard spots. Zion at the four with Okafor at the five. And it's Ingram and at the three, the small forward. Here's Okafor and it's denied. Grant in the post and the dunk by Grant. Man, Grant has great intensity on his drives to the basket. I mean, there's a ferocity with which he drives that's quite unique. Man, what a season it was for the Nuggets and Coach Mike Malone. He helped the Nuggets move into elite status in the West. You know, they went from out of the playoffs in 2018 to second in the West in 2019. Denver leading by 12. 
Murray right side. Here's Harris. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Hey, even when you knock Gary Harris around, he powers these shots in. And Clark, the media recognizing Malone by naming him a Coach of the Year finalist. Well, you think about the way the Nuggets' defense improved last year. It's testimony to Mike Malone and his attention to detail, particularly at the defensive end. The roster's all in on Malone as their leader, and that means the Nuggets are going to be a force for a while. Pelicans trail by 15. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Ball with the bucket. Yeah, I like how Ball is undistracted by the defense in terms of where he wants to go with the ball. And that excellent vision of his, that's why he's so good. Now here is Harris. He's got 12. Stolen by Ball. And Ball slams it in. And they need those kind of plays right now. Smart defense that generates some of Murray with it. The pass to Jokic. And Okafor with the block. And they get it back. Now here's Millsap. Lock at six. Shoots over ball. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Pelicans trail by 11. Okafor dishes the ball. As to Williamson. Over Murray. And it's Williamson missing. Now gets it on two of four here to start the second half. Harris passes to Murray. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Passes it to Jokic for three. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Williamson's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Ball, the bounce pass. Ingram outside. Back to Okafer. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Okafer's got eight points. Harris looking it over. Pass to Murray. From deep. Here's Jokic. And they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. Pelicans trail by nine. Now here's Okafor. He's got eight. He kicks it to Holiday. Ingram outside. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. And Harris, wide open. He shoots, fires the jumper from the corner, and nails it. 14 points for him. So many different ways that Gary Harris can burn you. Spotting up, slashing inside, creating. It's really pick your poison with him. Now here is Holiday. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And it's sent back by Jokic. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Here's Murray after Drew Holiday's score. And that one's good. Jokic. Jokic has got 10. It takes body control, concentration, and skill to score against that kind of defense. Jokic doing a really nice job inside. Now here is Holiday. Rejected by Harris. The kick out to Holiday. Second shot opportunity. And it's off the back rim. No good. He is just 
really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. I love the way Gary Harris has played early in his career, but I think last season was solid, but a step back from what he was hoping for. His scoring and shooting dipped, and he just couldn't seem to find the consistency that he wanted all season long. free throw missing and for Harris not the way he wanted to start the first year of his four year deal and you know given that he was in and out of the lineup and fighting injuries I don't think it's something that he should worry about I mean Harris is still an outstanding player he's got tremendous upside and I think he's going to be outstanding as he grows in the league. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. And, you know, while Millsap doesn't demand attention, he's a natural leader and does demand respect. He's somebody the younger guys certainly look up to. And the Pelicans with possession here. And Holiday kicks the ball. New Orleans moving the ball around with the fadeaway. Fantastic defensive instincts, encouraging signs of progress from Jokic. The pass to Barton. Millsap in the corner. Another shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you can't try to rough up Barton. Can't get too physical with him. He's very good at using his body against yours to draw fouls. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Nuggets. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. The first one falls. And Clark, one thing that makes Will Barton so good is that he fits right in among any group of players. And I like the pace he plays with, guys. He doesn't seem to force the issue. He lets the game come to him, and when he has opportunities to explode, he usually does. He's always moving. He's active at both ends. Uh, he's a high-quality performer. And here are the Pelicans now. 15-point game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Reddick passes to Oak. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. And Okafor making no mistake about it, no doubt, using his exceptional vertical and throwing it down with force. And it's Jokic missing. Pelicans trail by 13. Here's Reddick. Ball feeling it out a bit. Pass to Okafor. A reverse, and it's good on the way in. Okafor's got 12. Yeah, that aggressiveness of Okafor on the glass, a high percentage score when he gets a second chance opportunity. Beasley finds Jokic. Now Murray. He's covered by Ball. Murray, no good. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Barton against Reddick. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Reddick. And the Nuggets with some changes. Plumley is checked in for Millsap. Porter comes in for Will Barton. And Monte Morris subbed in for Murray. Morris inside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you know, you look at Monte Morris, this former Iowa State Cyclone, really an ideal option as a backup point guard because he's efficient and gets a lot done in limited playing time. First trip to the line for him here. 
And a year ago, he was an 80% shooter at the line. So that's more than acceptable. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they couldn't have asked for too much more from him when it came to knocking down free throws. First one falls for him. And Morris Clark, a second round pick in 2017. He came alive in his sophomore season. I love the fact that he got his chance and he made the most of it, Kevin. He showed great poise and awareness. Um, excellent in terms of his shot selection and was highly productive as a scorer and playmaker off the bench. So he hits one of two from the strike. Pelicans trail by 12. And here's Reddick. Passes it to Alexander Walker. Moore with it. Guarded by Porter. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Now, here is Morris. He has six. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. The Nuggets, number one. Fifth on the list, the Pelicans. And this is a battle today between two teams that really dominated the offensive glass a year ago. And, and they also convert when they get those second-chance opportunities. He's off on the first. Second free throw, no good. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. Here's Alexander Walker. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. The Pelicans have really struggled at the line in this one. Well under 50% so far. Shoot two. Free throw, no good. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. Moore against Beasley. Kicks it to Porter. And again, Denver no good. So Favors will bring it up for New Orleans. Here's Alexander Walker. Off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. Jokic passes to Morris. Back to Jokic. And he gets the bucket. Jokic has got six points in the quarter. Jokic has the ability to score from just about anywhere, but he's most dangerous inside. Tremendous skill in the painted area. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here, and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line.
and checking out the numbers for Jokic. He's coming off an excellent season. Around 20 points per game last season. 11 rebounds and 7 assists. And his rebounding is what's most impressive. He's shown tremendous determination on the backboard. And it's a big asset for this team. I mean, he blocks out on the defensive glass, and then he keeps balls alive at the offensive end. Now here's Moore. Shoots over Grant. No good for Moore. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for more. From down low, and there's Porter on the assist by Grant. Porter's got his second bucket tonight. And that jump shot by Porter is pure. Uh, has such a fluid shooting motion. Here's Holiday. Porter with a block, and he's able to get it back. Yeah, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. No good from Beasley. Pelicans trail by 16. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And the shot goes in. Denver's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. The kick out to Porter. Pass to Morris. The tray. They get the rebound. And it's blocked. And here they come. Favors passes to Hayes. Over Jokic. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Hayes. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. And that one is good by Beasley. 131 left here in the third quarter. Holiday with it. Now guarded by Porter. Now here's Hayes. D right on him. He kicks it to Reddick. And a miss there on the triple. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Now here's Jokic. He's got 12. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And the Nuggets making a change here. Humley's checked in, and New Orleans also making a change. Ingram's checked in. Hey, when Ingram is in attack mode, it forces the defense's hand, literally. Good job drawing the foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And really, guys, I can't put a ceiling on Ingram. I mean, with his length and his shooting stroke and work ethic, um, this is a guy who I think has the potential to be truly great. Murray's checked in for the Nuggets. And so he's able to get one of two. The Nuggets leading by 14. He dishes it to Beasley. Grant outside. Six to shoot. Jokic gets blocked. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Reddick dishes to Holiday. Favors surveying the floor. Baseline J on the way. No good on that one. Some solid defense from Grant. Plumley in the high post. One of the things Murray does well is shoot the mid-range shot. He's actually deadly from there. 
can't give him that kind of room. And so it's the Denver Nuggets with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We come back right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. They've got Plumlee. Beasley is out there with Jamal Murray. And it's Nikola Jokic. And it's Grant in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And it's Jokic missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Reddick passes to Holiday. Three-pointer. And there's Reddick. That's good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his third assist on the night. Murray outside. To the paint. Here's Plumley, And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. That free throw, no good. Gary Harris is checked in for Malik Beasley. Williamson is checked in for the Pelicans. He's off on the second. So Favors will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. That's good from Holiday. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. The pass to Plumley. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Here's Jokic. Good. And Harris gets the assist. 14 points for Jokic. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And Gary Harris is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Lonzo Ball is checked in for New Orleans. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. And it's sent back by Jokic. Outstanding timing from Jokic there. Then the superb reach to wipe away the shot. And the Nuggets making a change here. Millsaps checked in. Ingram kicks the ball. Shot clock at five. Here's Favors. Again, Favors missing. The Nuggets leading by 12. Plumley the pass to Harris. Hey, yo, right here. 
Murray surveying the D. Plumley in the post. He's covered by ball. Yep, that one goes in there. Plumley's got his first points in this one. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be a Mason Plumley. Free throw missing. Will Barton, he's checked in for Denver. And New Orleans also making a change. Okafor is checked in for Derek Favors. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Denver leading by 14. Looking to get back on track here. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. You just can't allow Millsap to get that kind of position. I mean, once he does have it, he's determined to score or at least get fouled. That one is off. He doesn't get the second one. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. It's stolen by Harris. And here's the fast break. Millsap leading the way. Count it. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Greg, they keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Now here's Okafor. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Plumley, and so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Jokic has checked in for Mason Plumley. And one thing you have to love about Gary Harris, the way he can explode to the rim. And Harris is a natural scorer from all parts of the floor, but he can just rocket himself for dunks. You Take aren't used to Take seeing from players of his size and stature. He misses the free throw. And, and forget about the miss for a moment and focus on the fact that he's done a great job putting pressure on the defense. So he comes up empty at the line. And the charity stripe once again proving to be the Achilles heel for him. His free throws have been way off the mark. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Not a guy you can stop by fouling Williamson. Too focused and too powerful. And you look at Lonzo Ball, certainly high expectations for this young man. One and done at UCLA. How about second overall pick? That's brought some undue pressure. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. That one misses. 
Greg, you talk about the hype for Lonzo Ball and the pressure. Do you think that creates an additional challenge for a young player? Yeah, he scuffled at times, but I think the future remains very bright for that young man. Here's Holiday following the basket by Jokic. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Five on the clock. Here's Ball. It's held in by Jokic. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Okafor. And then Okafor slams it in. And I'll tell you what, he's got a really sharp basketball mind. Always keeps the defense wondering if he's going to flare out or cut hard to the basket after the screen. Now here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Holiday inside the line, and it's New Orleans scoring again. You see the playmaking ability of Williamson there. Great pass to set up his teammate. Murray, the pass to Millsap. Barton outside. Puts up a three. Pelicans pull it in. Okafer's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Feeds it to Williamson. But they recover it. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six block. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Poke loose. Here's Murray. It's blocked. Here's Ingram. It's deflected, and they'll keep possession. There's another block. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. No good on the second free throw. And it's Millsap with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. With long arms and excellent skill and understated strength, Millsap bullies the defender on the finish. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. One of the stories here, Nikola Jokic getting it done today. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Pelicans trail by 16. Pass to Okafor. Now the dish to Holiday. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. And, and after a scoreless first half, you're starting to see signs of life here in the second. Harris passes to Jokic. Murray kicks to Jokic. A three-pointer off the mark. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference. To a shooter. And you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three point shot. He's not going to just give it to you, he's going to make you earn it. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard nosed, tough basketball. Here is outside. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. He won a decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball from him to this point. Ball dishes to Okafor. 
Ingram outside. He goes up again. Misses the layup. The Nuggets leading by 12. The drive by Jokic. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. You know, it took a little time for Jokic to understand how to draw contact and get himself to the foul line, but he's figured it out now. And he can't get the first one. Well, you know, you watch Nikola Jokic out there, and he just moves like a guard. The way he approaches the game, sees the court, and shoots just aren't found in that center position. No luck that time either. You know, Greg Jokic has so many tools at his disposal. He's a walking triple-double threat. The passing and vision is what really sets him apart at that center position. The offense can run through him and should run through him with how he can distribute the ball. Just five on the clock. Fires from deep. Kept alive. Out to Ingram. Right wing. Here's Ball. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth, too. Marie finds Millsap. Denver needs to get off his shot. Barton, no luck. Pelicans trail by 12. On the wing, Holiday. Four on three as they bring it up. To end the drought. Jokic, no good. New Orleans has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Got a piece of it, and it's ball in the corner. Outside Holiday. Martin with it. Now Okafor defender. The finish. And Burton is going to throw it down hard. With the long arms that Barton has, he's an exceptional defender, and I think he does a nice job picking and choosing his spots to take chances. Now here is Holiday. Lock at six. Ingram outside. He tries for three. A shot. No good. Now Denver takes it the other way. They led by as many as 18 points. And the basket by Harris. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit enough. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. One of the stories here, Nikola Jokic getting it done today. Now he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Paul Millsap. And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at him. It. It, it seems like every time they have, he's come up with the rejection. And with every block, he's only gotten more and more fired up. A really solid performance here in front of the home crowd. He may not be the star of this team, but nights like this are what make him a fan favorite. Now here is Holiday. Rejected by Harris. Now Murray. The kick out to Barton. And the rejection by Favors. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Ball's running. Count that bucket. And in transition, Ball is a problem. A quick decision maker who knows exactly where to go to get fast break opportunities. Now, here's Jokic. Murray outside. Barton outside. Over Ingram. Off the left rim and out. 
a, a little ambitious on that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. Drops it in from 14 feet away. How crazy is Ingram? How ridiculous is Ingram? I mean, just toying with the defense with his ball handling skill. Murray against Ball. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Kicks to Barton. I'm deep. They get the rebound. Millsap misses. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Nuggets. The blocking really turned things into their favor this time. Great timing, anticipation. They got the blocks, and that definitely changed the momentum of this game. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And it will be a fight, Greg. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning for the players. And while there was some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Paul Millsap. Well, I love the force that he showed on defense, using all of his length to deny shots. He was their anchor tonight. Jokic with it. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.